G'day folks, it's Mish here. I'm not alone. Hey? 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 Who's this guy? <laughs> I've got the coffee bush kid with me and probably about 50 other detectorists. So we are down here in what used to be the township of Wanyara for the Dig It Detecting Group Hunt Weekend. So they've got treasure hunts going on. We're gonna meet a few faces that we've seen in our comments and uh, have yet to meet in real life. Yep, should and, be good. Uh, Goodness knows what other shenanigans we'll get up to, but uh, without any further ado, I guess, uh, let's go mingle. Detecting is not only a YouTube channel, but also a very popular Australian-based metal detecting group on Facebook that is open for all detectorists to join. All of this weekend's attendees were members of this group. The event was organised by Dig It Detecting's creator Luke and his family, with the intention of becoming an annual social event for the metal detecting community. Uh, thank you for everybody to come, uh, for coming here today. Um, I know some have drove a long, long way away and I really appreciate it just to come here to be with us all. Uh, we've got Mish here, um, Dirtfish Miss, uh, uh, Mish as you can see. Uh, so we've got a few YouTube content creators. We have Neil, Colston, Diggers Down Under. Where are we? Yeah, right in front there of us. There is. Uh, we've got Andrew, Coffee Bush Kid over the back here. And myself. And um, we were going to have my lab, unfortunately they couldn't uh, make it today. Uh, so what's on for today? Uh, is we have our first uh, welcome to all, our first um, treasure hunt at 1 p.m. Uh, the first treasure hunt uh, is game is called Hoarder. So it's who can collect the most coins. So you'll have an hour with your detectors. You can dig away like mad. Some of the coins are buried. Some are thrown on the surface. Some are thrown in a in a tree or a bush. So be you know be creative. Think think outside the box. Let's do it. No! Why? You must find it. I'll give you two, about an hour time limit or until two o'clock. It's a little bit after one now. Uh, so, till two o'clock, whoever brings me the most coins, no cheating, no coins in your pockets already. Whoever brings me the most coins, though. What you got? Penny. Nicely done. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Good work. Hopefully the first of many. Oh yeah. Hopefully. Oh, what you found Kathleen? You got a buckle. Got a buckle. Marvellous. Fantastic. Okay. Right. I won't hold you up. <laughs> Keep at it. Oh, we got another find here. Yes. What you got? I don't know. Uh, 915 Rue Penny. Lovely. Nicely done. Love if it was an 1850 Britannia. <laughs> Wouldn't that be marvellous? <laughs> oh, there's still time. <laughs> there is. Hopefully out here somewhere. That's it. Oh, mate, Wayne, he's uh, doing pretty well. Three coins so far. What All in one there? spot, within a foot. Oh, I haven't. I haven't. Haven't had uh, a Swiss? Uh, 50. Well, it's a Rue Penny. Yep. I haven't got the glass. Oh, yes, oh you're right. Yep. 51 Rue Penny. I reckon that's a roux as well, possibly. Yep, that's a roux, that's a 40 something. Yep, can't quite see, 40 something. I reckon that's a roux as well, because I can see Australia. Yep, yep, three roux pennies. Glad you've got good eyes. <laughs> I know the pennies, that's about all. That's it, oh well. Keep going. Yep. I started digging a hole, but there's a target down in the ground, but it's not something that they buried, it was in a yep. very good ground. So Fair enough. Like we're on to something over here as well. Yes. Oh, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. What you got? Um. God. <laughs> no one that go down on here. Any of some description? Yeah. Us, oh, George. Yes. Fifth. Yeah. Yep. So Tommy. Don't know the year. It's just dead. That's all right. Penny's a penny. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, mate. I found one. Uh, they're yours, mate. You keep them. Oh, thank you. No, everything found is keeping. So who's got the most? 
Yeah. How are the numbers going? I'm not sure. I think we've got six, 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 six four. Six. Who's got higher than we had six? Eight. Seven. Seven. Who's got higher than eight? I've got six coins in the buckle. Six coins in a buckle. Nice. Two buckles. Oh, yeah. the, the coins and the buckles count together, so you know, two coins, two buckles, that's four. So, no, so, I've got one coin. What about a bottle top? No. And a pink Ring ball? We didn't do that. Save us 15 wins. You're disqualified. You were disqualified before we even started. 100%. Can anybody beat 15? 15 and a buckle. 15 and a buckle. 16. He wins. I got done. Seven. Oh, oh, come, come grab your prize, mate. And you get the key, get the as well. Yeah. So, this is all yours, buddy. All on the corner here. You get uh, stickers. Oh, really? Yeah, the drink bottle at the back there. Two hats. You have, Two to wear, you have, to, have to wear one on top of the other. Right. Thank you. Thank you, man. Most welcome. Well done. Well done. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, no worries. So here's Anton, our lucky winner of the first treasure hunt for the weekend. My goodness, oh. you've got some goodies. What do you got? You got a mine lamp hash? Yeah, but I got a bottle, I think, water bottle. Oh, yep. Detected, detected cab. Hash. Also, oh, get detected. Digger detecting. Uh, <laughs> Gee, you won't know who to represent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this tiger one. groundhog. Yeah, never oh, used it's it the before. Coin one as well. It's got yeah. the little hook on the end. Yep. Marvellous. Pretty sick to use it. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> See ya. Well, we've decided we can't watch everyone else having the fun. We're going to go out for a hunt as well, so fingers crossed that we find some goodies. We've only got a little bit of time to kill before the next big event happens for the weekend, so let's see how we go. After a quick look at some historic maps of the area, the Coffee Bush Kid and I took our detectors through bushland near the campsite with the hopes of finding some interesting relics. Unfortunately, the area appeared to be well hunted out and good signals were few and far between. I found plenty of junk and some broken remnants of old glassware, however my best find this afternoon would have had to have been this former small dwelling far from any current road or track. Just look at how well preserved the foundation of this structure is despite it not having existed for over a hundred years. Well, Lisa, you're on camera. Hey Miss. Hey! Hey Fish Miss, viewers. <laughs> Lovely day. Speedy Reedy's on to something here. Yeah. We hope. And we hope. Have a good one. <laughs> uh, the name of the game for this hunt is <laughs> Silver Drought. Oh, Silver fire. Drought. Um, however, I've changed it around a little bit. What we're going to do is I've buried about 20 silver coins, oh, only one of them being a florin. Okay. However, same deal. Whoever finds the florin wins. However, Every chance of picking up a shilling, sixpence, strippence, a coat so of arms, wheat strippence. And if there's you a special the florin, Do we keep it so uh, quiet until yeah. we get back here? As soon as you find it, you yell out florin. <laughs> oh, and look, the game's not over. You can continue yeah. going because there's plenty of coins out there to dig. Everyone but, wants silver. Yeah. I'm going to keep mine till it ends. Let you all suffer. <laughs> there's a couple of hundred pennies, one and two cent coins, and buckles mixed in out there. Oh, there's about 20 odd silvers, one florin. And there's also a special surprise, which I'm not going to give away. But when someone finds it, it's not another $2 gold chocolate coin. <laughs> Equinox 900. But when someone, you can't eat this coin. And when someone finds it though, you'll know about it. And you'll, for, for someone that's never found one, you'll enjoy it. So, yeah. nice. cool. so it's not the number of coins, it's the, the florin. Today, or oh, this, this round oh, is find, find my florin. Quality over quantity. quantity. Yeah, quality over quantity. Uh, and you can keep the florin, you can keep the coins, nice. just find it for me. Oh, best of luck everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Some people do that, yeah. all build. Just to get lubrication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get it through the wood, yeah. 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 Oh, very good. Alright, treasure hunt round two. We've got a fine. What just you one. Got? Penny? One penny. Nice work. Can't read it. I reckon you're the first, so. Good luck finding that florin. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so we're paying find that florin. Well, Speedy might be onto something here. Maybe. Maybe. What's the sound promising? Penny. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh. oh, it's a commie penny too. Yeah. Nice one. Nice work. Congratulations. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> Got 
six no, no. on the pier. You said a 22, 23 thereabouts. Can you make that out? I can make that out for yeah. you. That is a 19, I want to say 59. What monarch we got? George six. So 39 out of those two then. I think so. Yep. Oh, I better get it on camera. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I better check my hole. Oh, yes, definitely. Learn my lesson. <laughs> Best of luck. No one's called Thank out you. for a florin yet. So it's still hiding somewhere. Well, as far as I'm aware, someone's keeping real quiet otherwise. <laughs> Dominic abandoned me. Oh. <laughs> He's gone back. Yep. I said, Thanks, Dom. <laughs> I couldn't drive him with $10. Oh, no. <laughs> Sounds like we might have a target here. What numbers did you have? I did a look. No, that's all right. We don't need to look. We know that's a signal. Yep. 21. 21. Be the florid. Oh, that'd be nice. Shop might be better. <laughs> Anything's okay. There it is. Up there. Oh, yep, there's, there it is. A couple there. Oh, you got more than one. Oh, yeah. that's all right. What we got? What's the other one? Yeah, penny. That's half. And a half. Way. Yeah, commie half. Nice work. Well, that's efficient digging. Two yes. coins for one dig. Seeing if there's any more, Rod. Yeah, give that a whirl. Yeah, we always do that, you know, walk away. Well, I think we no. exhaust it. Yeah. Oh, well done. Thank you. That's it. Fill your hole in. Yes, always fill in the hole. <laughs> Good work. So, Luke, have we had any luck on the flooring yet? Not as yet, no. No, no unfortunately, no luck on the flooring. I'm, oh. I'm sort of pointing in the wrong direction, I know I should yeah. be. Uh, concentrating my time down there more so. Oh, well. so I'm waiting, oh, waiting, waiting. I don't know, for what are you filming, editor? <laughs> <laughs> what are you filming, Luke? If I film you, film her, and Mish yeah, films yeah. me, <laughs> I'm actually not filming. I'm still waiting. Uh, so. uh, <laughs> my camera's bigger than yours. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mine's longer than yours <laughs> and skinnier oh, than yours. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Hey, the longer bit is. Oh no. <laughs> Something on the go here. What sort of numbers did you get, Matt? 28, 29. Ooh. I like that number range. Probably. Uh, Wait, there's something. Probably two. Yep, oh, two cents. Ah, two yeah. cents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh bugger. Yeah. <laughs> Better like next yeah. time. See, the hard part about everyone swinging a mine lab is you hear a beep and you don't know what direction to look in. <laughs> well, it looks like Wayne's onto something. <laughs> Definitely onto something. Well, come, I don't know, I didn't even look at the numbers. Oh. What's it registering on there? Oh. Alright. That's Penny. Oh, half Penny. 12.46. 12.46 on the CTX. I think this ground may have been dug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, here we oh. go. No. no. It's two two cent pieces. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've doubled your money. Oh, I can do that at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no please. one's called out the flooring yet. No. Could be anywhere. How'd you go? One cent. One cent. Again. Oh, it's three cents now. Everyone's getting fooled with the one and two cent pieces today. Better than nothing. That's exactly right. Well, still on the hunt for that florin. No one's had any luck yet, so we're about to give them a little bit of a helping hand, maybe reduce the search perimeter. Let's see how we go. So what we're going to do is uh, we probably fenced off too big an area this time, which that's okay. What we're going to do though, if you walk past me that way, you've gone too far. You need to be this way for the flooring. Excellent. So if we um, we sort of halve this area, and you guys go nuts up there, you'll find it. Gravity. Dom, show me where it is. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Dom, Dom wasn't here. Suddenly the pressure is on. Well, uh, that's not the find we expected. Kathleen's gone and dug herself up a chain. <laughs> you could call it jewellery, you hardcore sort of. A... Anyway. In, a, in a heavy metal sort of way. Yeah, exactly and right, a, a heavy metal one. necklace. Yep. Is that one of yours? All right. Now this florin still needs to be found. 
Rightio, we're closing in a bit more guys. Up in this back corner and you're in the right spot. Remember you gotta yell out Florin. No Florin bud. We're starting to fence them in like sheep now. Flow in the buddy. We should have brought a border collie with us, it would have made the job a little easier. Dom can do that. Run around barking, mate. <laughs> no. no, you don't want to run around barking? No. Oh, okay. If you're staring at yellow daisies, you're probably in the prime area. Oh, I don't know if they're yellow daisies though. In yellow. the fields of gold. Yeah. I made it challenging, so. So Luke's just dropped the biggest hint yet. It's located in the flowers. Look at everybody moving into the flowers. Oh, that's it. The field of dreams. Are they going to get signals now that they're so close together? Ooh. Yeah. So what's the collective term for a group of detectorists this big? Idiots. <laughs> a swing of detectorists? Yeah. It's only about, look, it's, it's not very deep. If you're in a rocky, rocky outcrop area, you're in the right spot. The noise cancel, sensitivity down, you won't need much. Hey, we have a winner. Round of applause, guys. Well done, well done. I told you oh, the floor in there. Oh, no, no, you keep it. Well Thank done. You. Well done. Amazing. Congratulations, mate. Yes. Florin <laughs> winner. Now you've got to yell out Florin baby. Florin baby. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, well done, mate. Well done. Congratulations. Awesome. All right, let's get some shape. <laughs> See, I told you there's a floor in here. I just want to say thank you for the content anyway. Um, I just had back surgery yep. and I couldn't get out detecting. So you guys getting out there have um, helped me out a bit. Oh. <laughs> How wow. amazing. Thank you very much. All, right. all good. Thank you. How did the surgery go? Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, it was all right. It's all, all good. I'm out and about now. So it's... Um, <laughs> Um, yeah. That looks incredible. That is That's amazing. amazing. It was hard to uh, do, but yeah, it worked out in the end. Oh, it's all good. Oh, a girl could get used to this. Lovely Luke over here, walking away. We knew you had to come this weekend yeah. for a reason. Made up this beautiful board. Chocky, thanks to Speedy. <laughs> that is fantastic. You're the man, pick one out. Drawing a raffle winner. He's got a green. C22. C22. Win over there. Hey, Warren. So close. Twelve. Good on you, mate. You remember that feeling I was talking about? <laughs> I had it this morning. <laughs> Good work. That one there, Warren, is for you, mate. Oh. We've got a detector, or I'll let you pull it out if you want. I've wanted one of these. Have you? <laughs> yeah. nah, awesome. Nice. Perfect. Oh, cool. We've got a bucket hat, we've got some stickers and a stubby holder in the back there. Yep. And, I don't know um, where the stubby holder is going. I think the stickers <laughs> either in the front yep. or in the hat there, mate. So just, uh, oh, in yeah, the front there, awesome. yeah. Ooh, you should excellent. have a key ring and, and everything. So. Thank you. Well Thank done, you. buddy. Well Thank done. These bags, I've been wanting one of these bags. Oh, you'll, you'll be aching it now. Thank and they you. last forever. Who won the guessing game with the pennies? Well, I guess the first question is how many actual pennies were in the jar? Should I give it away, all right? Yeah. Well, we, we don't know who the winner so, is yet, but... There was 223 pennies in that jar. Mm. Did anyone sort of get around that 220 mark? 221. 221? Yeah. I did 225. But then we had somebody with 221. I know who we, that, one. that one. I know who it is. You have. You've what have you again? done? Yeah. Second guess. You know, as soon as you put it down this morning, I was like, you bugger. Because I knew, I knew that you were close. How many we had? 223. You've got two and you got 221. So two and he won our last mm. gold coin counting competition. Okay. He, yeah. yeah. Well done. Uh, Rob, Rob nails it all. Okay, technically, Xavier, you got it on 222, but you don't You're count money. You're not winning it, mate. No. It's for the members, right? I can't. 
We'll go Harvey's if you like. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, what do we, how do we do that one? Right. Oh, I can't believe that. Uh, so look, what we're going to do here is we're going to break it up. We've, we've added in another prize and we're just going to split up and divide around a bit. So, for you, a drink bottle. Oh, thank you. We've got a brand new Tiger digger. Oh, wow. Thanks thank to Tiger you. Stainless Steel with yeah. a sheath. We've got oh, a hat. Thank you. A brand new Mind Love hat. Oh, yeah, that'd be better than the Elvis one. We have some more stickeroos no, no. for you. Oh, thank you. That's really good. Oh, that looks good. I'm, I'm throwing it at you, sorry. <laughs> and a detected cap. And a protected pouch. Oh, very good. So all, all for you. Nice. Great Thank gift. you. Well done. Thank well you. done. Do your own digger now. I'm not going to get down here. <laughs> uh, Rob, for you, mate, we've Thank got you. a brand new Tiger Stainless Steel hat. Awesome. We have another round of stickers. Excellent. Thank Stick them you. where you want. We've got a little screwdriver. You would have seen them before. You open them up. They've got the screw pieces inside, and you oh, lock okay. them into the end there. Thank you. Put them in the car and keep you out of trouble. We've got a reversible hat. Thank you. We've got a a. Um, a stubby holder, I couldn't think what to call it then. Oh, um, we've you, also Luke. got a Mind Lab drink bottle. Awesome. And for you, you have a brand new collapsible uh, detected oh, really? brand new shaft. That's the new design. Oh. So, Thank you very much. All collapsible, lockable. Oh, uh, it goes in there, you've got your, your, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. your locking plate. So yeah, we'll just, yeah, we'll just yeah, throw yeah. it all back in there, mate. Thank you very much. So that is a... Um, That's awesome. We only had the one of those to give away, so you're, you're a very lucky man. You're the only one to get one. <laughs>first find and I'm not going to write home about it but I've got the base of a shotgun shell so <laughs> given how deep down it was and how green it is that's been gone a very long time but we'll do better let's see what else we get well old mate coffee bush over there is on to a rather high tone 
We're all kind of waiting with anticipation to work out what that may be. I'm on to something. I get my hopes up too high. But there is a consistent 13, 14 there. Three bars down, so it's been here a while. This ground is so hard and I made the rookie mistake of forgetting my digging tool. Just as well, Coffee Bush has got a couple in the in the trusty ute. So I'm borrowing his signature tiger digger here and just trying to get down to whatever the flipping thing is but we'll find out i'll be back well look i can't match the caliber of what coffee bush has just pulled out you'll have to go to his channel to find that out but uh i don't know i got something i got a bit of metal and it's been cut in a very sort of artistic way so i'd say it was on something decorative so, Look at the, the field's got me intrigued, it definitely has. Well, I've gone and had a look at Andrew's amazing find. Again, I won't spoil it here. Go check out his video to see what he found. And uh, in the course of going over to see what he got, I myself have got a rather interesting high signal. Now, it, look, it's jumping all over the place. So don't get me wrong, I could be getting excited over a bottle cap here. But look, even if I turn on all metal, I'm not really getting any iron grunts. In fact, I can see something there. I don't have to dig for whatever this is. Oh, or maybe a dupe. It's a little stuck in the ground. All right, let's see if we can live dig this guy. I don't think it's <laughs> anything too amazing. What the heck is that? Yeah, all right, that's a thing. And furthermore, that's a thing, uh, if you guys know what that thing is, please let me know. Uh, yep. Cool. We'll take it. Well, my next dig was a fairly stable 15, and I held my breath, hoping and wishing for a half sovereign, and it's not that. But it is possibly part of a harmonica reed, so it's still interesting. And we'll still get it off the farmer's field. Hope we find something better. All right, crew, I've got my fingers tightly crossed for this one. There's been a few little spots of luck in the field so far. And I have got this 29.30. It sounds really lovely, no matter which way I swing. All right, let's see what it is. That would be a lump of metal. <laughs> Not exactly what I want. We'll still take it. <laughs> we are having some luck over the, on the field here. I'm going to check out Dion's find in a moment. Well, Dion's had a win. Wow, that is a stonking big spoon. I was thinking you found just an ordinary size one far out. Markings on the back. Well, that'll be a fun little bit of research for you. Well, in my wandering away from the house site. I think I've come across something else. There are bricks down here. I won't go too far because I had a signal here. I don't want to lose it. Nice and clear. 21-22. Now it could be a shell casing. Because goodness knows I've had a few fool me already. Alright, I got it. And it's ammo, but it's not like the ammo I've dug out before today. This is a larger bullet of some description. Now, I'm not an expert on these by any means. So by all means, place your guesses in the comments. I'd say that one is well old. Nice. Well, crew, I'm about as red as a beetroot. I am tired, exhausted, and quite possibly sunburnt. Um, so, yep, we're going to call this hunt. Um, so I still haven't found anything overly noteworthy but that's okay i'm having an absolute blast of a weekend i haven't had phone reception for two days now loving every second of it just quietly but anyway we'll head back to camp and there'll be more shenanigans tomorrow i am sure Well folks, Sunday morning, we've got one more treasure hunt today 
and uh, we've pulled things a little further forward on account of it being so bright and sunny. I'm actually running a little bit late, people are hunting already. I'll explain the game when we get there. So young Luke, I'm a little bit late to the party for this one. Care to explain the rules of this particular treasure hunt? So we've got round three here. Uh, basically a, a, a field full of pennies, coins, buckles, uh, especially the one and two cent coins just to annoy everybody. Um, <laughs> and with that we've also dug in a couple of half crowns and a couple of English two shillings. Uh, but the aim of the game for this hunt uh, is to basically find my lost ring. Mm -hmm. I know I've got a ring on my finger, it's another ring that we're, go we're looking for. So. All right. Yeah, so whoever finds the ring wins the competition. Excellent. Yeah. See how they go. Yep. Now, Miss Kathleen, are you onto something over here? Hello. Hello. How did you just go then? Two set piece. Oh. oh yes. <laughs> and I've already got a belt buckle. Yep. And a penny and yep. a halfpenny. Oh, yep. nice little spread. Yep. I think young Dom might be onto something here. Yeah, I already got my first coin. Yeah. And what was your first coin? Just like a little coin. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to see. Uh, <laughs> got it. Oh, beautiful. I reckon that might be a two cent piece. Yeah. All right, well, let's see what we get in this one. Ooh, still might be a little way away by the sound of it. So, is the Florin champion onto anything? Oh, yes, there you go. What did you get? Yeah. Me. Oh, nice. Roo. Fantastic. Oh, you're oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise, a penny. Oh, oh, that's an older one. That's a Britannia. Yeah. Nice yeah. work. I'd be happy with that. Yeah. English. Queen Vicky. Nice. nice. Thank you. <laughs> what was that? I heard something there. Oh, Over there. oh I found it. Uh, wait, let me check if it's on my coin. No. No? <gasps> is what is one? it? I want to know. Quick, you got to show me. What did you get, mate? What is it? What are these coins? A penny. Yeah, come on, penny. Well done, mate. Mate, not in my pocket. Yeah, nice and safe and sound. Good boy. Good work. Now, I have it on good authority that you may have just had a find. Yes. Yes. Care to quietly tell me what you found there? Uh -huh. We have a winner. <laughs> yeah. That's alright, still plenty more to find, so we'll, <laughs> yeah. we'll let them keep going for a bit, but well done. Nice, thank you. So how's the, um, we got the manticore out oh, today? Oh, we have. How's she faring in the wild? It's, it's a wonderful machine. Yep. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty it. cool. Yep. You have this um, amazing, with the 2D screen, we take a look here. And so you get a signal and you go to dig it if you've got a, a reasonable target and depth. Okay. But what we're looking for is to see that it's on the non-ferrous line. Yep, so just down here. Yep, okay, I yeah. see it. If right it's here. on that line, it's non-ferrous. If it's above it, it's a nail. If it's below it, it's lead. Yep. Or a piece of tin, so you just leave it in the ground. Magnificent. Isn't that cool? <laughs> that is pretty cool. <laughs> Young Xavier here is on to a target of some sort. Don't quite know what. You need to borrow a pinpoint. Oh, no, you got a pinpoint. Good. Oh, there it is. What'd you get, mate? Hmm. Is he a bit of silver? Or oh, maybe it's paint. It's sort of penny size, isn't it? Mm, damaged penny, I reckon. Uh, yeah, it's a penny of some sort, flipper oil. Oh, yep, that's a rue penny. It goes that way up. Huh. 19, can't work out what the last <laughs> bit is there. Um, 1952 or 32. Nice, good work. And how are we going up this end of the hill? Good, thanks, Fish. Good. Found two pennies. Yep. So. And Tish found a crown. Nice. So a nice silver. Yeah, we had we a couple of, to... I think he had uh, some British half crowns and some two shillings as well in there. Nice. British ones, so 
All right, Very keep good. at it. Um, no, the ring want... has been found. However, oh, there's plenty more in the ground to find. No, so, worries. did you want to have a look at the coins? Absolutely. Right. Oh, Those two there. Oh, nicely done. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so Anton over here has found Hello. something interesting. Hey guys. What have you got? Um, we got a token in eighty fifty seven. Oh, that is beautiful. Well done, mate. I didn't yet to find a token of any sort. You? Never found one. Yep, yep. So you're, you're doing better than I am. <laughs> well done, mate. See you guys. Yeah, how are we doing over here? Morning, Mish. <laughs> getting warm. You're getting a little bit warm. Have you had any luck so far on the, the oh. hunt? The nice seven, mate. Oh, yeah. Little it's handful in there. Blend in with the colour of the bag. I might have to spray the inside of the bag white. <laughs> a bit more of a contrast. Absolutely. <laughs> Morning, Luke. Morning, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Any yeah, luck so uh, far on the hunt? I've found a lot of one and two cent pieces. Yep. A half crown. Oh, nice. And I don't know if Luke threw buttons, but um, I found a button. You found a button? I, I don't button. think he actually threw any buttons, there so uh, fresh find. So Good work. Right. <laughs> uh, no, it's a little bit hot, and that's why we did a little bit early. Uh, it's just coming on 11.30, so a little bit early, but um, to be honest, I'm sort of glad we pushed it forward um, that, that, that much earlier. So, Leanne, you are our prize winner. You found my ring, apparently. Yeah. I don't want it back. You can keep it. <laughs> the whole point is just finding it, though. So, you're our winner. Uh, you can come, come and grab your prize if you like. Uh, these are all yours. So, you've got a brand new, brand new drink bottle from Mind Lab. Uh, we have a digit detecting hat, a uh, detect dead hat. And uh, we've also got a detected uh, stubby holder. We have, <laughs> we have a Equinox 600, 800 target ID chart, a little a Mind Lab bottle opener, yeah. and last but not least, and the Mind Lab bag, of course. Yeah. And last but not least, Ooh, we have for you a brand new carbon fibre red belly shirt. All yours. All yours. Confirmed it will fit on your Okay. Yeah, yeah, we weren't sure, but we just missed yeah. just sort of help us out and said, yeah, it will fit. So All my fault if it doesn't. Put it back in the pile for if you like, or uh, to protect it if you want, or you can take them away like that if you like. Yeah, well done. Yeah, thank well you done. so much. Woo! Thank you so much for yeah. coming up and, and uh, partaking. Yeah, Throw all that in there. Rightio, so this is our raffle winner for today. We'll get uh, Dom to draw it out. Dom's the man. That's Ori. I'll bring to A2. A2. Well done. I was just thinking, I, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. Well done. So, Viv, we have a brand new Detect Ed pouch with a hat. I think we've got stickers in the front there for you. You know what this uh, means. you got to take up no. detecting now, Viv. You've got detecting now. Oh, oh no. Hey! I'll go with you. No awesome. more Coffee Bush Kid videos because Viv's yeah. detecting yeah. instead of editing. No worries. All right. Yeah. Most welcome. Most welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Pleasure. Yeah, once again, everybody, thank you for coming. Like, just, yeah, amazing. To see us all having fun over the weekend, like, that's. It was not about money for us. It was not about, you know, you guys coming and spending, you know, raffle tickets and an entry fee. Or it wasn't about money. It was about giving back to the members that have supported the Digit Detecting Group uh, for the last five years. So, once again, big thank you. Uh, you guys deserve everything, you know, everything this weekend. So, I deserve yeah. it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A big thank you to you, Marina family, Dad, wherever Mum. Big thank you to Mish, Andrew, Viv, Neil for turning up. I really, really meant a lot to us, the subscribers. And hopefully we'll all see you again. Yeah, Rob, you took the words out of my mouth, yeah. mate. Uh, Second to yeah. yeah. Thank you so much yeah. to Mish, uh, Andrew, Neil, over the back here. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, thank you to everybody because everybody being here has made it what it is, you know. It's a, it's a collective, you know, group, yeah, group, so. Uh, and it's been a great, great weekend, so. Yeah, I honestly did not see it panning out this this bloody good. So really, really <laughs> wrapped. Yeah, and we'll be back next year, bigger and better. Hopefully, more to do, more people, uh, more sponsors, more merch. Yeah, 
More, more fun. More awesome. More, awesome. Yeah. more yeah. days. <laughs> more days. <laughs> more days. <laughs> it's alcohol, it's alcohol free. So it's, it's the group hunt <laughs> week. <laughs> group hunt year. <laughs> group hunt year. Yeah, yeah, Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Well then, I've just gotten a sneaky moment to myself with a brand new machine. So I've gone and pinched Luke's Equinox 900 as compared to my 800. And I wanted to just quickly go over some of the differences here. So they've now got a carbon shaft included as standard with lever locks. The one thing I've really noticed about this, which is huge improvement, and this is something you've heard me talk about with the Nox. I don't find it very ergonomic and that's where I feel the dais has really shone for me. However, they have made some modifications. So on my 800 here, I found that my hand over time would slip up behind this control pad and I'd find at the end of the hunt that my finger would be all locked up, quite painful. On the 900 and obviously the 700 when it's released, can you see that there's this extra little ledge now so that when you grab it your hand's not going to slide up as it used to i believe the angle yes the angle has changed ever so slightly as well hard to see side by side but there is a slight difference there there's also on the back a flashlight so just if you're doing night detecting it's just enough just to illuminate what's going on at your feet yeah, yeah. the waterproofing has been improved so now they're saying it's going to be waterproof to five meters instead of three um, now without going into great detail we do know that that was a, a weak point on the former Nox, and it's something that uh, again just held me off doing too much water content with the 800 so very very keen to see how this performs in the water now it does look a little bit more robust around the control pod we'll turn on the old machine See how long that takes. It's got a little while there. Turn it back off. Let's start up the 900. Bang. Away we go. Now that is an enormous difference. Uh, we've still got the same sort of modes. Field. So we've got park, field, beach and gold. So that's all very similar. What you might notice is that there's more segments of ID. So instead of going from minus 9 to 40, we're now going minus 19 all the way up to 99. But we've kept the same theme in that you can see every little wedge here and you can turn them on and off as needed. So I'm happy that they kept the simple notching system. Again, that's where the knock shines over the dais. It's a lot easier to do those notches on the fly. Uh, the backlight on this one is a little bit different, so instead of the white backlight, and it might be, yeah, it's almost impossible to see in the daytime, but that is a red backlight. Something a little bit different. Multi levels of brightness. Um, and slight button redesign. Apparently, the buttons light up as well when the backlight's working. But um, all in all, if you jumped from one to the other, you wouldn't be completely in the dark. Obviously, the learning curve is going to be the new numbering system, uh, but it should be a lot easier to tell similar targets apart. So in the case of, let's say, a large pull tab and a 20 cent piece would ring in at a 16. Um, now they might have a slight variation. I don't know what the equivalent is on the new machine yet, but uh, exciting times ahead, my friends. Can't wait to actually check these out in the wild who knows i might have to end up adding one to the kit uh, i've got some decisions to make over these coming months i think but anyway i better give this back before i get in trouble <laughs> goodness it's sunny today folks but I'm taking a moment by uh, what's left of our little creek behind us here 
Just to say farewell and thank you for enjoying this video with me. Uh, it's been a wonderful weekend. I don't get the opportunity very often to come out and mingle with other detectorists. Uh, so yeah, beautiful to meet so many familiar faces from the comments. Some people that I have met in passing, some people that I couldn't wait to meet this weekend. So I've had a whole lot of fun. Thank you so much, Luke, for organising this amazing event. Thank you very much to the sponsors for this event as well. And to everyone else who pitched in, gave a hand, so there will be another Dig It Detecting group event happening next year. The details will no doubt be published to Dig It Detecting's Facebook group. So do keep an eye out there. If you're not a member of the group, do join up there as well. But uh, in the meantime, guys, take care, stay safe, and we will catch you on our next adventures. Cheers. Well, folks, things change Ooh. rather... <laughs> Settle down. Well, folks, thing is, <laughs> gonna get a few bloopers out of this run. Just run with it. We can say something embarrassing. Uh, my socks are dirty. Oh. <laughs>